Greetings, I am Herbert Herbaderp, and today I'm at Ekebin Memorial Park, which is a nice quiet green spot in the suburb of Tarragindi on the south side of Brisbane City. You can find this park along Cracknell Road between Fingal and Lotso Streets, and it's on a bus route so if you want to visit this memorial using public transport it should be pretty easy to do. The sign at the front of the park gives us some historical information about the area, saying that it was used by the Americans as a hospital for the shell-shocked. It was later taken over by British and Australian forces. It would seem that nothing of this hospital has survived, and the area has long since been built up with housing, though I did read that there is possibly some foundations of a gun emplacement somewhere on Fingal Street. The park was given to Brisbane City Council in the 1960s and I think it's a pretty nice little park. It's obviously maintained and you'll probably notice that workers were even here on this day doing said maintenance. The memorial itself is pretty small. There's a pair of benches and a flagpole, but the main thing here is this. I'm not sure what you would call it, a sculpture? It is certainly interesting and I haven't seen another one like this in my adventures so far. On the floor in front of the memorial we find this plaque, which tells us that it was erected by the Tarragindi Wellers Hill sub-branch RSL to acknowledge the sacrifice of those who gave their lives or have since died in all conflicts in which Australia has taken part. This does encompass a lot of people and there are no names listed here, but it is of course worth taking a minute of silence to contemplate the bravery and sacrifice of those people. As you can see, this memorial has a kind of odd shape that I'm not really sure how to describe. The site I get information from calls it a freeform concrete structure, which is not very inspiring really is it? Whatever you might call it, I think it's pretty interesting. And as you can see, there isn't anything around the back. Judging by the photos on the War Memorial Register site which I believe are from 2009, this memorial and particularly the park have seen significant improvement over the years. The memorial itself used to be fenced in with chain. I have no idea when the extra pavement, gardens and benches were added, but I am glad that they were. The children's play equipment has also changed and a lot more gardening has been done around the park in general. This makes it, in my opinion, a really pleasant place to spend some time. It is kind of out of the way unless you live here, but it's nice and I'm really glad that places like this are maintained in the city. I think it's worth it. That said, I did used to drive past this park multiple times a week and never really noticed it. It's kind of amazing the things you can find where you live if you just start paying a little bit more attention. Okay, I think I might be waffling a bit now. There isn't a whole lot to this memorial, but that's okay. They don't all need to be big and elaborate, and even the small ones are important. So I hope you've found this interesting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If you've not done so already, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch. Links to all of my things are in the description below, and as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching, farewell.